back in 2020, in October 2020, I made a video about all the apps available in the Polestar 2. And there was 20 apps available. Let's see now, almost three years later, how things have evolved. Uh, today it's May 30, 2023. So let's uh, go through the list of available apps and just count them, see how many there are. Remember there was 20 apps available back in uh, October 2020. And I'll also show you the apps that I regularly use. Okay, let's just go through the list and uh, check out the apps we have here. Uh, so here's Google Play in Android Automotive. We have some suggestions of yeah, pastime while parked, apps for EV charging, explore all the apps, stay informed, stream your favorites. So let's just click on explore all apps and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So 50 apps in total here. Uh, remember back in 2020 we had 20 apps and now we have 50 and as you can see if we start on the top of the list here we have some different apps Polestar Insurance, Chargepoint, Easy Park, some German news, Car Fireplace, Parking Singapore, Gold Mahong, it's a game I guess, Solitaire, Sidejig, GPS navigation and maps, YouTube music, audio crates, Libby, open radio, CICA, Seguros, I'm not sure what that is, policy management in your palm, so it's, I don't know. But you have a lot of different apps now, and uh, To be honest, the only app that I use from this list is Spotify. It's the only app that I use at a regular regularly. And I use Google Maps. I have all the other apps or a lot of other apps installed, but for maps, for example, the way Google Maps is working and integrated with the car, it's just the best app to use, so no point using anything else. And besides that, for example, a better route planner. Uh, it's so slow and sluggish and difficult to use. So... I, I, I never use it, never. Uh, for the other apps, it seems like most of these apps are either radio apps, if you like to, you can use TuneIn for example, which is a good app, I don't use it. I just use uh, the built-in radio player, which I think is good enough. And I just listen to the local radio stations. But if you use something like, uh, if you use something like, um, yeah, tune in, you can listen to news radio stations all over the world. So, and there are a lot of them, um, and audio books and and stuff like that. <coughs> 
destroy a game. Maybe beach buggy carting. Let's see if we have some. Nice graphics, but it's probably way too hard because you have to. Okay, how do you, how do you do? Okay, backwards. Okay, that's the brakes, and then you. Uh. So I'm not good at this, and the controls are really difficult. <laughs> Okay, so you can do some racing here and uh, what else? Uh, you have the ways up and same thing as the other ones. As a better route planner, this is it's slow and takes a long time. It doesn't integrate well with the rest of the car. So I'm not sure why one, why I should use this one. So I just, I don't use this, uh, but maybe those who enjoy Waze will use it. I use this one, Google Maps, because it integrates well with the car. It will show you battery, how much energy you, you need to get there and get back and stuff like that. So, and it should suggest, uh, charging stops on the route and it will also preheat the car to preheat the battery to maximize charging speed on a supercharger or a fast charger so it's it's just a better thing to use okay so that's it for now and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video about all the apps available in the polestar 2 if you have a polestar uh, what apps do you use? Uh, tell me in the comments below. It would be nice to, to hear and how you use them. And uh, if you have any ideas of or thoughts of about missing apps, what kind of apps would you like to see in the Polestar 2? It would be interesting to, to hear your thoughts about that. Okay, so until next time, see you, take care and uh,